reviled for centuries, wandering between countries that would not let them settle. Gypsies today are among the poorest and most persecuted people on earth. Across Central and Southern Europe, gypsies have a distinctive culture that separates them from others. They live in slums, have little education, and struggle just to have food and shelter. In most cases, the paved road ends at the entrance to a gypsy settlement. In one Ukrainian village where a band of gypsies has elected to settle, nearly 4,000 people struggle for survival every day. But in this village, there's a difference. A small congregation of gypsy Christians has found a home in one of the most unlikely of places. A massive concrete building originally constructed to house the KGB is now becoming the social and spiritual home for these gentle people. This is the first gypsy church I have ever seen for whom they do not only want to receive from uh, outside believers, but they want to give. They want to give to each other and they want to give to the community. If they see that somebody is in need, they are giving them help, they are giving them education, they are giving them clothing, and if somebody is uh, hungry, they would give them a piece of bread. But they always want to emphasize that this is only the minimum level. Uh, they want to give uh, more from Jesus Christ. We are a church since 12 years, and, and we got that building from God our goal, we would like to reach all Ukraine gypsy people with the gospel. I am a gypsy guy. So that's why I want to serve my nation. And I feel that God called me to doing that ministry. Janos and his church are changing lives, not only their own uh, lives, but the lives of the uh, community. In the life of the church, we can see that impossibles are becoming possible. Hungarian Baptist State has been involved in the missions in the Ukraine for a long time, and we have seen the poverty of the gypsy people. didn't have clothing, and we have seen that some of the gypsy children uh, have been sold to become beggars. Their uh, arms and their legs were broken or even cut, because you can get more money if you sell a beggar without legs or without arms. We have approximately 4,000 people living in this ghetto, and 90% of them are unemployed. Most of the people are making their livings from the garbage dam. They would collect uh, certain things that they would be able to sell at the market, and uh, many of them are working for the sewage company. In this community of 4,000 people, we have uh, not more than 10 or 12 bathrooms. 
in some houses. We have parts of this community where 100 people would use uh, one outhouse, one outside lavatory. There is no running water, and because of their living conditions, they have many health-related problems. And we would like to change this around. We would like to have them build some outhouses in the community. We would also like to build a shower and laundry facility. Almost 90% of the people are illiterate. The government schools didn't like gypsy children to attend because they were barefooted, because they were smelly, because they had uh, dirty clothes. So we would like to create a kindergarten to have the children become established in the educational process. This church had the desire to have a place of worship very close to where they live, either in the ghetto or very close to the ghetto. There was a building which was built in the communist times. The communists wanted to use it as a, a secret listening center for the KGB. By the time they finished, the communist regime fell, so they have never really used this building. It was in, in very bad shape when uh, the company that owned it, they wanted to sell it. Pastor Janos went to them, he participated in the bidding process, and uh, at the end of the day, he had the building, but he didn't have money. Hungarian Baptist State is paying $1,200 as a monthly payment. So right now they have this building which needs renovation. But what is so great and what we are so thankful for, as we told you, many of the church members are making their living from the garbage dump, and they give their tithe from that small amount of money. So this church is being built from the garbage. The people in this church, they work very hard on the renovation. They do it from their heart, but they don't do it as uh, professional constructors. So please come and bring your construction people. Send your people who would work with the children, who would do vacation Bible schools. Please send nurses and doctors who would pay attention to the physical well-being uh, of the people, who would help us to make the social programs in the church building uh, possible. Please send your people who are able to show care to people who are not cared for. When you walk the streets of the gypsy ghetto, all you see is poverty, broken windows, hopelessness and desperation. But when you go into the houses of the Christian gypsies, you see that everything is in order. They don't have many things, but whatever they have is clean, you can see the love, you can see the respect for each other. And yes, the situation is very difficult, the situation is desperate, they live in extreme poverty, but they have peace and joy. Their faith gives them happiness. And this is why they are different. want to give training for spiritual leaders. So, outreach for youth, kindergarten, and social work for orphans, especially. 
a free kitchen, I mean a food, food store, food bank, like in, in the States, food bank. And as you see, on that building we have a lot of work. But I believe if we put together what we have from God, we can build up together this building. And if anybody can come from North Carolina to us to build up that building, you are very, very welcome. <laughs>